This is a little bit different start for me. Why do I have packing tape in my car? <laughs> it is so early right now. It's like I'm actually running quite a bit late. It is 6.10 in the morning on Saturday, September 25th, and I am on my way to the gym. I would normally have left my house about 15 minutes ago, but um, I'm not used to getting up this early on a freaking Saturday, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I do have work today because we missed that day for the hurricane, and we have to make up for it. Um, we're just a little bit behind for my goal for surgeries for October. She has no I work in, um, in that industry. So anyway, I can't even talk right now. I'm gonna go to the gym because I need to get my body moving. I've only gone twice this week. So let's go ahead and drive to Greenway. Oh God, I look bald. <laughs> Why? All right, I'm gonna go drive um, and I will talk to you guys when I get there. goodness guys there's literally like nobody here I love it <laughs> I love when the gym is fucking empty like what is this I can park anywhere I want you know what I'm pulling through oh my god guys I am so late <laughs> like literally so late luckily though we don't have to actually start work today until nine am I pulled like far enough forward yes I am <laughs> oh, okay we're here on a sun somebody's definitely sitting in that car while I'm vlogging. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> oh, buddy, I don't have this filter on at all. I am looking all sorts of ways this morning. Anyway, we don't start work until nine o'clock this morning, which normally our office isn't actually even open until nine, but we normally have to get to work by like 8.30. Realistically, like most of us don't even get to work until like 8.40 or so, which you're probably like, <laughs> that's not that big of a deal. Who smokes right before they go to the gym? This asshole just drove by with his windows open and he just blew smoke out the window. And this is like a young kid. Like he looked 30s, 20s, 30s. This is such a weird thing for me. <laughs> I'm about to go off on a really big rant here. But I've been noticing an, an iptock, <laughs> what? Uptick, what am I even saying? But um, the girls and I at the office, when you are booking somebody for surgery, you have to ask like their medical history, like do you smoke, do you drink, that kind of stuff, because there's a lot of complications that come along with smoking, which is why like nobody nowadays really smokes, I thought. I remember those dare classes that I took when I was in elementary school and middle school where they were like, this is what happens to your lungs when you smoke. I just assumed that like not a lot of people nowadays still smoked because you knew how bad it was. And I'm talking about cigarettes, I'm not talking about weed. Can I get demonetized for saying weed on this channel? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's too fucking early. Um, but we've been noticing an uptick in the office of when patients come in and we have to book them four to six weeks out for surgery, which normally is our waiting period, but you can't, you can't book a surgery until you officially quit smoking. So our normal booking period is four to six weeks for like a breast augmentation after you come in for a consultation. So not only do you have to wait until you, the four to six weeks until after you quit smoking, but then on top of that, once you quit smoking, you come you call in, you cancel, and you said, yes, I, I'm officially quit. I, you, I test negative for nic nicotine. Then you have to wait another four to six weeks to get surgery, which is a long time before getting surgery. And I'm just like, and a lot of people don't, don't really think about it, but I just never realized how many people still smoke nowadays. It's very gross. It's a really gross habit. Like out of all the things that you could do, why that? I, I don't get it. All right, that's my random rambles for it being at 6.36 in the morning on a Saturday morning. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna crush a little booty day. Um, I've only gotten three workouts in this week. I went on Monday, I went on when, what is it, when? <laughs> on Wednesday, um, and then I went today. 
My mom left this week. She had surgery in Houston um, in a partner clinic that we have um, or a clinic that we, an office that we kind of partner with. She had surgery over there um, a few weeks ago and she was in Houston for two weeks while she was recovering and it was really good to see her. It really, it was just nice to have family around because I don't have family that's in Houston, but she left this week and I really have been kind of out of my routine and element for the past couple of weeks because fucking working out's hard. <laughs> I am so bored with weightlifting, guys. Um, I will still do it because weightlifting is like the best thing that you can do for your body. Uh, well, moving, moving in a hole and just being, you know, active is the best thing that you do for your body and doing what makes you happy, I guess. But weightlifting is really good because it keeps your bone density um, really high. There's like specific medical terms for it, but my brain's like half functional right now. And I've just been really bored with my weight training routine. I've been doing the same shit for 15 years. And I know a lot of you guys are just like, well, change it up. But there's only so many ways you can change up doing a fucking back squat or a deadlift, right? Um, and it's it's a lot harder to work out from what I, what I realized. Not working in the fitness world, I used to tell people all the time, and I'm such an asshole, 100%, like now that I don't work in the fitness area, when I was working at Lifetime, and people used to be like, well, you're, you know, you have more motivation to work out because you're there every day, and I used to come back and say, no, it's actually a lot harder for me to work out because I'm there all the time and I don't want to be there. But to be honest, guys, working, living in that environment, working in that environment and living in that environment, essentially, when you're surrounded by people who are motivated to work out it makes you more motivated and right now I work at a place where uh, nobody really works out <laughs> and I love the girls that are, that are there but nobody really works out um, and you're just you have access to things that can help you look the way that you want without having to put in real work so it's a lot easier to fall into the trap of oh I don't really want to work out yeah so here I am on a Saturday morning trying to get my shit together that was a very long winded way of saying that I'm trying to not be it a fucking turd. Now I'm gonna go in because I'm already super fucking late. <laughs> Pair of jeans, just shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. Is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Woo! Alrighty, Rue. I need to just get a. What am I even saying? Okay. Uh, turn the car off. Turn the car off. Ah! No! Woo! Are you okay? You're okay. You're alright. I need to just put my fucking camera holder car holder thing on here but I never really actually vlog on my camera like while I'm driving because that's not safe but I just got to work guys uh, my workout was actually really good this morning wait is my car off yes my car is off um this is just car turning into like a car vlog apparently um I will not be vlogging the entire time in my car I promise but I just got done working out I took a shower did my hair um, my hair actually didn't turn out too bad today I normally get to work like this where I finish 95% of my makeup um I normally do my mascara when I actually get into the office because I find that if I do my mascara and this is probably not interesting for a lot of you guys, but maybe it is. If you want, if you want to find a way to keep your lashes curled for a good portion of the day, one, get a really good curler. Um, and I t and I like to heat mine up. Um, I know they come with like preheated curlers where it actually like heats up, like the, it's like electric. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's like it's electric, um, and it heats up. So that way it's just hot when you put it on your your lashes. But I'm super worried about that because I don't actually want to burn my eye and that can get a little bit too hot. So what I do is I take my uh, my eyelash curler and I take my blow dryer and I heat it up with that, let it sit for a little bit, and then I curl it. The reason I curl it when it's hot is because it's still hair, guys, whether they're your eyelashes or like your hair. You wouldn't use a cold tool on your hair to curl it. You would use a hot tool. Same thing with eyeballs. Just be safe because it's your eyeballs, you know? <laughs> You know? What I have also found is I, because I do my makeup before I do my hair typically when I'm at least getting ready for work at the gym. Actually, just typically when I'm just getting ready. Um, and I, when I'm blow drying my hair or doing anything with hot tools around my eyelashes, even if I do that technique before doing my hair, uh, my lashes always fall down because there's a lot of heat just going around my face. So it kind of like drop, drops down. So my mascara is like the last thing I do typically when I get to the office and I'll just kind of like sneak back in the room and like blow dry it and then like, Ch -ch -ch. or if I just don't have time, I'll just do it anyway. But Anyway, um, I have worked today from 9 until 12. It is right now 8.40. There we go. It's now 8.45. I'm going to go inside. I'll show you around the office if the girls aren't here. I don't see any of their cars right now. Maybe if 
I can sneak upstairs, I'll do a little vloggy vlog in the office on my phone. Because I'm not going to bring this behemoth with me. If we went and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door and if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store oh, I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights Sunday, <laughs> the next day, and uh, oh, I struggled a little bit. Just tad. Right now, oh, my watch is on. Right now, it is 11 21 on Sunday, September 26th. Uh, it's the next day. Like I guess we're struggling. We're struggling hard. So, I don't know how much I talked to you guys yesterday. We went out with a couple of friends to go watch the game, and I had literally three drinks very weak drinks, <laughs> to be really fucking honest. But I'm gonna transition you guys. I'm gonna move my Canon camera. Oh, see this is why tans are awesome because it makes you look a lot more fit than you actually are. All right guys, so we just, we got back um, yesterday. Game ended at like 5.30 or 6. Uh, they won, yay, awesome. And like I said, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, um, I ended up having three drinks. The drinks really weren't that great. The place we went to is like a newer bar restaurant thing uh, that's in Siena, which is an area outside of Houston that has like no restaurants or bars. It's like very select few places, but uh, the friends that we went out with actually are in the area, so we went there. And I never drink, guys. Literally, like never, ever, ever ever drink. Um, it, I'll like occasionally have a glass of wine, which the glasses of wine that I have are very, very, very sweet wines. So like the alcohol percentage is maybe like 5%. Um, so it's really rare when I actually have a real drink. It's maybe once every couple of months. Uh, so for me to have three, I was done so. So I'm not feeling the best today, but we went to at home afterward, but I ended up not getting anything at at home. I really want to make some cute like fall decorations outside or like have some fall decorations outside, but I'm not creative at all. And I don't know how to like decorate. I, I've never had that in me because um, my mom like never really was a big decorator growing up and neither was like my grandmother or like my aunts or anything I just don't have it in me so I've been trying to do like some cute like putting together a Pinterest board of what I want it to look like because it's a lot easier for me to take something that I find on Pinterest and then bring it to life because I am essentially just buying <laughs> whatever's in the picture um, but I can't really find exactly what I want it's all really cheesy and overdone and everybody has like the big welcome signs or welcome Thanksgiving stuff and like thankful for whatever stuff and I just like I don't want a welcome sign <laughs> out front I don't want to, I don't want to welcome people to my house I want a sign that says go away <laughs> what I'm here to sit down and talk to you guys for because I'm five minutes in and I haven't gotten anything with this I bought this on Amazon and I want to try it out <laughs> it is a lash lift kit and I had originally gone on to Amazon to look at eyebrow micro not micro needling what are they called Lam laminating laminating and this popped up and i, I don't really want to do a lash lift because if this burns my eyelashes off i'm gonna be really pissed but i already have an appointment scheduled to do microblading not when is my appointment on friday october 15th so it's in like a couple of weeks from now so i figured if this fries my eyebrows off it's okay because i'm already gonna get microblading unless this works this works I'll cancel that appointment. But if this drives my eyebrows off, I already have an appointment to get them fixed anyway. But my lashes, I don't want to mess with because it took me so long to grow my eyelashes out. Um, I got this on Amazon. Like I said, I there was another one that was actually specifically meant for lashes and eyebrows, but that one was like 50 bucks. And I wasn't gonna spend $50 on something that I wasn't even sure I was really gonna use. So I bought the next best thing, and this has 8,317 reviews and it has four and a half stars and I read through the reviews and that looks really good. Oh yeah, this I got this one because it was one of the more expensive ones but it was rated really well. It's $26 um, on Amazon. We're gonna give it a go. I don't know what I'm doing but yeah, let's just try it out. My house is super new so I keep hearing sounds but it's haunted. Bring that to life. I don't want to live in a haunted house. I just want to explore haunted houses. 
and watch all the haunted content, but I don't actually want my house to be haunted. Okay, directions for use. Use the cleanser solution. Number four, to remove oil, dust, and makeup residue. Select a lift pad that best fits the length of your eyelash. I don't have anything, I just literally just got out of the shower, shower so I don't have anything on my eyebrows, but. It asks for film wrap, plastic cover film wrap, which I don't have. I just use a little plastic baggie, use a book baggie, and I cut it open, because plastic is plastic, right? I think you're just supposed to kind of put it on there anyway, so I just cut a piece off. But we're just going to jump into it. So it says use a cleansing solution. Don't even do that, my brows are like super clean, so I'm not gonna clean them again. Select a lip pad that be the best fits the length of your eyelash. We're not doing lashes, so we're not doing that. Apply the false lash glue on the lip pads and place it over your eyelid and align it right above your lashes. Not doing that. But I will use the false lash glue on my brows, considering that's kind of what I want to like glue in place, right? Like that's what we're thinking. I don't know what I'm doing. This could totally just be frying my eyebrows. I'm gonna have eyebrows after this. Maybe we don't do this. I mean, it says that you put on their lashes anyway, so before you do the perm solution. Wipe. I am not encouraging any of you guys to do this because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Perm solution. Number one says perm solution on it. I'm going to take that and I hope to God this has a little... Nope, sure does not. What do I apply this with though? Because it doesn't have anything here. Can I just use like a clean brush? I'm going to use a tiny little brush and I'm just going to dip the brush into the solution, I think. Oh, this smells like asshole. And then we're going to do the permy perm cover with plastic film. Okay. And then it says, wait, eight, eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so it's, it smells it's so fucking bad. Like I, it's been about six minutes and I just can't stand the smell. So I'm gonna quickly move through it. It's been about seven minutes. So we're almost at the eight minute mark. I already removed the film. I'm going in with step number two, which is the fixation stuff. And it literally just says apply number two and let it sit for eight to 10 minutes. Same thing as before. So we're gonna do that. All right, now it is 11.47. I will see you guys at 11. <laughs> it's 11.56. We're taking this sucker off. This thing kept falling off, so I don't know if that even matters. Who knows? Okay. Now it says to use a cleansing sol cleanser solution, number four, to clean off the perm. Okay, so that was literally a complete freaking waste. Uh, reason I say that is because when I went to go wash around my eyebrows, um, a couple of my brows started falling out. <laughs> So I'm probably going lash bald, but that's fine. So what I ended up doing is just taking water on a uh, little towel and just completely scrubbing the crap out of my eyebrows because a lot fell out. I am by no means lash bald, but um, I think that as soon as you add water to a perm solution, it removes the perm. So that's 25 minutes of my life I'm never gonna get back, but we'll see, I'll let you guys know. Obviously I'll update you if it does work or if it doesn't work, but I think that at this point, it wouldn't really, if it works, that's great. I'll tell you that. But if it doesn't work, I can't necessarily blame it on the solution because I just put water on my eyebrows, but I don't know, man. Yeah. We need a grill. Yeah, we do. It is so fucking nice outside today. Chunky chunkies. A girl needs to go on a little girl diet. So nice outside, don't you think? Put shorts on. Huh? Put shorts on. Yeah. Go right around. Be free. It is never this beautiful outside. It's better. Yeah, decent. It is never this nice outside. It's 80 degrees right now, typically. In Houston, and I talk about this all the time in my videos, it's like 95 degrees. So it feels so good. So good. What are you doing? She ready to play. He's not interested at all. Gosh. <laughs> you guys are crazy. sometimes yeah I do not cook ever I know how to make eggs I'm pretty good at making eggs Let me get some ketchup. Oop, the 
because TV is super loud. Oh, you done eating puppies? Yeah. Hi, Doubles. Hi, Doubles. You You're done. Like You're done. Look at his chops. That's a good idea. I am I sitting here eating. Feeding? Let's, let's turn this turn down. Uh, I'm sitting here watching Lucifer for literally the 15th time. Nick just went out to the grocery store. So I am about to bedazzle my shoes. <laughs> Well, they're already bedazzled. Let me show you. Um, these are like some of my favorite pair of heels that I wear to work, but I wear them all the time, at least twice a week, uh, one to two times per week. But I have another pair of shoes that I've been rotating them with, but they're so cute. They have like beads in the back, but do you guys see? They started falling off in the back. One thing though is I don't, it takes me so long to find really good heels to wear to work. And when I, and I love them. I love them. The heels are actually still really, really, really in great condition. I only ever wear them at work and I take them off as soon as I get back in my car. I don't really walk outside in them. And technically, this isn't even bedazzling. These are actually little beads. But I figured if I bedazzle them with a kit that I got on Amazon, I got this little kit right here with a pink little bedazzler, I can make it work. And I started doing it when I got the bedazzler in a couple of days ago, um, right here. And I think from like far away, you can't really tell the difference. Obviously, cause I'm putting like up close with you guys, you can clearly tell the stones are totally different. These are like, this is a lot more flat. These are actual beads. But like when you just have them on your foot, you're not gonna really be able to tell. And eventually I'm just gonna have to trash the shoes because they're falling off. Like the beads are just hanging on strings and the strings are breaking. And I thought about just buying a new pair, but I got these on Poshmark a year ago. Um, and they're from Macy's. They're the Incorporate, or I'm sorry, the International Con Concepts brand, the Ink, Ink brand, they're just what Macy's has. So it's really fucking annoying because all of my shoes are typically from Macy's because there is a Macy's, um, factory like outlet that's near here in Pearland and I can get my shoes for like 40 bucks as opposed to 120 <laughs> and I'm not somebody that buys really good shoes although I will say I just literally just I'm 30 years old guys just got my pair first pair of Louboutins uh, a couple weeks ago and I had to go take it to the Houston shoe hospital to get sold because they put a clear sole on the bottom of the shoe so that way it can't get scratched up or when it doesn't doesn't actually ruin the shoe and I haven't worn them because I'm like petrified to wear the shoes because they were so much money which is stupid because if you spend that kind of money like you should just wear the fucking shoes um, and it's weird like I'd never have problems there's a lot of money there's a lot of money for the shoes and I don't want to ruin them but they fucking hurt my feet <laughs> I have really itty bitty teeny tiny toes and because of such, and like really small feet, because of such, heels with straps like this that go around the ankle are so much better for my feet. Because if I have a pair of shoes that don't have straps on them, they always constantly fall off. And then when I went to the Louboutin store to get my shoes, they said that typically you need to go up half a size because um, the shoes, like they're European size and European people are just like smaller than Americans. <laughs> so I went and I got, I'm, I'm typically a size six. In shoes I feel more comfortable in size six because I, I like having more room in my shoes because I do like having the band around them but because I was getting my first pair of Louboutins I didn't want to have the band around them because um, I didn't have them in stock and I wanted to buy shoes that day because I'm like that's just me um, so I went and I bought this the whatever the standard pair of Louboutin heels were that were like they don't have the strap on them they're the patent um, leather shoes uh, 100 millimeters because the ones that are bigger like these I think they're the 120 or 150 millimeter heels they are gorgeous so pretty can't walk in them I can this is about a three and a half inch heel I can walk up to a four inch heel anything more than four inches I cannot walk over and it took me a very long time to get to that point um anyway this is a very long story short but I finally got my shoes back from the shoe hospital a couple of days ago and I was walking around my 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 house a little bit ago with socks on to try to break my shoes in. So I'm just pick, I'm just, I'm gonna force myself to fucking wear the shoes. That's what it's buckling down to. <laughs> Wait, this thing came with a. So this thing comes with a lot of different beads, but these I'm going for are more like the silver beads. And it has one of these like weird little picky uppy thingies and it has like a tweezer thing that you can use and I'm just going to. What you do is you put the size, the tip on here, then you plug it in and you let it heat up. This thing gets fucking hot. So there's a holder for it, you have to keep it on. Um, and then you just pick up the bead, you place it on where you wanna go and I would show you guys, but uh, I'm not going to. No, I just lost a bead. All right guys, I'm going to finish <laughs> bedazzling and then we're gonna go 
eat some dinner. Nick's at the store right now getting some food. I'm just gonna have some soup for dinner, relax the rest of the night. I need to edit a video because it's been another like three, I'm such, I'm the worst. I am the worst. I told you guys I was coming back to YouTube and I posted a video being like, I'm gonna start uploading three to four times a week. <gasps> oh no, is it stuck in there? And I am going to edit an, a foundation review that I have for you guys that needs to be posted soon. Yeah, so I hope that you guys have a fantastic day, a fantastic night. I hope that you aren't uh, hating these vlogs. I don't even know if this is my first vlog back. It could be, I have, I have no idea. Um, if it is, I hope that you don't mind them. They will get more interesting. I have some things coming up the next couple of weeks. Um, like I have this event coming up this week, which I'm not gonna be vlogging yet, but I do wanna go to Galveston on Saturday. So I'll take you guys to Galveston. Next week, we're going to Dallas to go look at a wedding venue that I'm really excited about. And I've never actually been to Dallas before. So I think I'm more so excited to go to Dallas than I am um, go to wedding venue shopping, which is terrible. Nick and I are just like, I think because we're old, we're just like really not into the whole wedding thing, but um, I'm excited to go to Dallas. So I'll take you guys along with me then. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next vlog while I sit here for the next 15 hours. Bedazzling.